Tonight here at Lemoyne, we've been doing a course in which we copy a great master work and kind of put our own spin on it. So today we were going through sort of the late impressionist stylings and so we focused a lot on blocking out color, uh, using brushwork to suggest movement and contour, but depending on which month you come it could be different. Sometimes we might be imitating, um, say, the Italian stylings or we might be doing a more um, post-impressionist with the dots. We have a wide variety of students. We have students who've been doing art for some time. We have some folks who've never picked up a brush before. Um, it's really anyone who wants to have a kind of down-to-earth, easy-going kind of course that they're not necessarily told exactly what to do, but are allowed to put their own flavor and flair onto the backdrop of these great paintings. So with Masters in the Making, we focus a lot on historical context, and so not only are you going to learn how a painting was produced, but also the socio-cultural activities that were happening around it. You're going to learn a little bit about the personal life of the artist as well as their professional life. Masters in the Making for me is an opportunity to see the individual artistic qualities of my students come through these classical masterworks. I think this would be a great gathering of different people to come together for an evening just to enjoy you, mingling with each other and going home with something that you can talk about and again having a new appreciation. I think it's not so much about the quality of the work you produce but the experience of doing it that's important. I think that through painting you learn something about yourself, you learn something about anyone that you would bring with you to Masters in the Making and you probably make some friends while you're here too.